Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to talk about mapping. Mapping is quite useful when we want to add a new column. Um, so for example, if we take this data frame that we've been using for quite a few videos now, when we create a data frame uh, using, you know, for uh, city rank score 1 and score 2, this is what it looks like, the usual way of creating data frame, giving it columns and so on and so forth, and we have a column city here, Tripoli, Sydney, Tripoli, it has some repetitions. Uh, let's assume that we wanted to add a new column for the country of each city. And uh, we can do that manually, of course, but that's going to be uh, a tedious process if the, you know, the, if, if you have uh, a large amount of data. One way to do that is to do use this map function. And the idea is here is to create, let's say, for example, a simple dictionary of key value pairs, so Tripoli, uh, is in my key here and the value is Libya so for Tripoli we want Libya as a country for Rome we want Italy for Sydney we want Australia and then um, I can basically map that so you notice here the, the key values here Tripoli, Rome and Sydney are the same values in the city column here okay uh, one thing I can do is I can say data frame of city but by the way this is how you access you know a certain column by its name and then it has a function called map. Uh, uh, if I do shift tab, oh, sorry, it's not recognizing it for some reason. If, if I do map and then I pass it my country dictionary, what it'll do, it'll map the values in the city column to the keys and then get the values from the country uh, dictionary. Okay, so you can say Libya, Australia, Libya, Libya. Uh, and so on, Libya, Italy, and so on and so forth, right? And to add a new column to the data frame, I, th I don't know whether I've spoken about this before, but to add a new column to your data frame, all you need to do is you say data frame of that new column that you'd like to add, for example, let's call it country, and then pass it the values, and off you go, the country will, the column will be created, okay? So if I look at my data frame now, it'll have the country column with the correct values, which were obtained using the map function from this simple dictionary. Nice and simple, and yet really powerful. Let's stop here, and I'll see you in the next video.